Hi, welcome to this short video. Uh, I'm Dan Taylor from Apps Events, and I'm here with my colleague, James Sayer. James, how's it going? Hi, Dan. Thank you. Yeah, doing very good. Thank you. Great. So what we want to talk about today is, uh, as many of you know, there's an ability to record your Google Meets uh, in Google Workspace for Education, and it's been available temporarily in the free version, which is now called Workspace Fundamentals. That's now going away. So we're going to talk a bit about that, and we're going to show you and uh, there's an audit tool now for Google, which, which you can do in your Google Admin Console. So you can have a look at how much people have been using Google Meet. And it will all help you make a decision um, if you want to maybe purchase Teaching and Learning Upgrade or Google Workspace Education Plus. And it will really give you a picture of how much people have been using Meet recording in your domain. So, Jamie, do you want to show us how, how it works? Yeah, absolutely. So just as you said, Dan, it's actually very easy to see how much recordings have been used on your domain. And what we're going to do, we're going to go into the admin console. We're going to do an audit log report. So we're going to look for all of those Google Meet recordings through to, you can even put it into Google Sheets, into a pivot table, or Google has created a nice data studio template, which we will share with you as well. So here you can see, I'm in a training domain here. There's no uh, private information in this domain. What we're going to do, we're going to come down to, so from, from the side menu here, we go down to reporting and come down to the audit menu item just down here, and we click on the drive item. This enters the drive audit log selection, and what we can do here, this is everything that's happened on the domain in, in Google Drive. What we can do here is we can click on add a filter. And what we're looking for, we're looking for these meet recordings, and they're saved as MP4s. So I'm gonna add a filter as document type, and if you scroll down, you can, you can search at the top, you can put an MP4, or we can just scroll down here, we can see MP4 video. So I'm going to select that, and it's going to apply to the selection. Now, whenever a Google Meet recording is created on the drive, what actually happens is it attaches, there's a specific name format, but within the name, it actually adds on the tag GMT, so for time zone. So we can now add an additional, um, an additional filter, and we're going to use title, and it contains GMT, because every Google Meet recording contains that tag GMT. And we'll apply that. So it goes through. It's searching for all of these recordings. Now we can see here that we have some uh, recordings on the domain. And again, you can see there that this is a recording. And we can see it's been added GMT, has uh, ad been added there as a tag. What we can do now is we can actually download this report. And you want to download uh, the currently selected columns, and we're going to download it to Google Sheets. When we're ready to do that, we'll click Download. I'm not going to do it right now, because it can take a few seconds to download that data. But once you've got that into Google Sheets, then you have a couple of options. And we're going to share the link to this as well. So in the description of this YouTube video, you'll see a, a link directly to this support article. This is a support article from Google, and they've got a quick video showing this process as well. And when you've got your Google Sheets data, you have two options. You can either analyze it using a pivot table, or you can analyze it using Data Studio. If you want to do it very quickly, just go ahead, do it in Google Sheets, set up a pivot table, works really well. But Google has very kindly, and I, I suspect Ollie Trussell may have been involved in this, very kindly put together a great Data Studio, Google Data Studio template. And if you click on the link here, in the support doc, it will open that template up for you. And this is what it looks like. So within Data Studio, you'll open this up, and it's got the instructions on the front page. And then we have the actual report pages on pages two, three, and then four. And what we can use this report for is we can see how many people are using Google Meet Recordings, which, um, which of our faculty are mostly using Google Meet Recordings. If you're finding that recordings is really important for you, be aware that, of course, unfortunately, Google Meet recordings are leaving education fundamentals. So um, maybe it's an opportunity to talk about teaching and learning upgrade or Education Plus. And so that's how we would use this report. To use a report, all you do is you make a copy of this template, and then you connect it to your Google Sheet of data. And all of the instructions are there. It takes, honestly, it takes a minute or two to connect it. 
and then you would have all of the data for your domain. Instead of a sample data, you would have all of the data for your domain. And it's as quick as that. If you've got any questions about what the report means, if you want to have some more insights on a report, of course, we'd be more than happy to help out with that. Yeah, thanks, uh, James. Just to say as well, in, con in closing, we have um, a free trial available. Well, we're, we're a Google for Education partner. So if you're interested to try Google Workspace um, for Education Plus, which gives you um, all the teaching and learning features, including Meet recordings, but also all the security upgrades, we can give you a free, a free trial any day for six days, uh, 60 days. So here's a link um, at the bottom if you want to try this. Check it out. No obligation. If you don't want to keep using it, you just revert back to your current workspace. Great. Thanks, James. Thanks, Dan.